Let me ask you about this new campaign you're working on, the Kickstarter campaign. It has to do with music. And until I read a little bit more about it, I was like, what are y'all doing this for? Lewis, tell us how important it is that you guys work on getting all of these songs into elementary schools all around the country. Well, thank you, Aaron. American history is no longer required in many high schools throughout the country. This means that large numbers of American graduate without even the most basic sense of what it means to be an American. And that I think that is one of the fears for so many parents and grandparents is that our children do not understand what America is and what she represents. And so what we did was we went and we created a music CD that essentially tells the story of America in song. It's all the traditional or classical songs like, you know, Oh Susanna, God Bless America, etc., uh, Grand Old Flag. And then in between each song is a narration from what I call the cowboy grandpa. And he kind of tells the story behind the story, uh, which we want to put into the hands of every music teacher in our country's 90,000 elementary schools. It's called Conservative Kid Presents Freedom Sings the Story of America in Song. I would think starting off that the homeschool movement is is perfect for you guys. This would be right up that alley because it's it's such a it's such a fun way to teach some of the history. Because let's start with just Yankee Doodle Dandy. A lot of people have heard, you know, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. All right. So, uh, well, the, the Yankee Doodle was originally done by the British troops as an insult against the American troops. Stuck a feather in his cap, called it macaroni. What a, what a rube, what a moron. But at the Battle of Yorktown, when Cornwallis had to turn his sword over to George Washington... The Yankees sang that song to the British as an insult back to them. This was a song that's supposed to insult Americans, and we co-opted it and made it an anthem for our people. That's the story behind that song that teaches some of that American history and, that otherwise you might miss. And Grand Old Flag was a, a chance meeting between a songwriter and a veteran on a park bench. And uh, the songwriter asked the veteran a question. He said, yes, yeah, she's a grand old rag. And that just stuck in the songwriter's mind, and he wrote the song, Grand Grand Old Old Flag. Flag. You're a Grand Old Flag. You're a high-flying flag. And that's (laughs) brilliant, guys, because kids will learn by hearing these stories, and they're not going to learn reading a history book. But if you tell them stories like this... They'll learn it. Is that the brilliance behind you guys? That's that's kind of the, yeah. It's it's a little bit of subversive. It's one of the ways that one of the philosophies that we have is if you come straight at an issue, sometimes you're going to run into roadblocks. Mm-hmm. But if you go at another more important issue, yeah, you can come back around. I, I teachers I coach, hear you know we hear kids hear those teachers' voices. Wah wah wah. Right. Yeah. Charlie this Brown's is teacher. This well, is you, this is different. If you wait until I mean I think we've all seen, especially with the millennial generation, that if you wait. Wait until high school or college to teach these kids what America is and what she represents. It is too late. The culture is simply too strong. And unfortunately for many parents, they love this country, but they also have a job. They also are shuttling kids back and forth from every activity in the world. And the opportunity to sit down and tell them the story of America and what she represents and their love for this country simply isn't there. It's not that folks don't care about America. It's simply that the tools, the resources, the path to that destination uh, isn't as easy today as it used to be. So what's the plan for for a teacher who might be listening, for someone, for a homeschool parent that might be listening, or just a regular old mom and dad who want this for their kids? What? How does one get hold of this? What is your distribution plan? So if, if you wanted the CD for yourself, you can go to our website, conservativeground.org, where selling the CDs there. You can also go to iTunes. You can download the CD and all the narrations on iTunes right now. You can do that right now. And well, called, if you're driving, and, and, and wait just a minute. And but the official yes, title really. is, though, so what do, what do I look for on iTunes? Freedom Sings, the story of America in song. Okay. Freedom Sings. Okay. Now, if you want to help us get this into every elementary school yep. in America, go to Kickstarter, and that's where we have our campaign up. Again, uh, Freedom Sings. Lucia, you had the, the official title. Uh, it, it, conservative ground uh if you go and you you 
put in the if you go to our website, you'll get the the link. Uh, and as well as if you go to Kickstarter, uh, you can type in conservative ground or freedom sings and it'll pull up our Kickstarter campaign. And you can contribute to this cause and you can actually sponsor some schools to get these songs into those schools, into the hands of the actual music teachers who can share this with their students.